A sequence is a set of numbers, which we call terms, that follow a pattern. An arithmetic sequence is the simplest kind. It's one where the rule is that a number is added or subtracted each time. If that's the same number every time, it's a linear arithmetic sequence. A geometric sequence is one where we multiply or divide by a number each time instead. You could be presented with the start of a sequence and you could be asked to determine what the rule is or just carry on the sequence, which requires knowing what the rule is anyway. Here, the rule is fairly obvious. It's add three every time. This is what we call a term to term rule. It just tells you how to go from one term to the next. We also have position to term rules instead. Basically, the first term in the sequence, we can assign the position one, the second term has position two, etc. So if we call the position n, then we can say that for this sequence here, the position to term rule is three n plus two. Once you have an expression like this for the nth term, you can find any term in the sequence by putting the position in the place of n. So the 10th term would be 32. A triangular sequence is one where we add on the next position to the previous term, and it can be represented by a triangle of dots. First term is one, second term is three. The third term, we take our three from the previous one and add three, so that gives us six. Fourth term, we add four, that gives us 10. Next term, we add five, which gives us 15, etc. The nth term is given by n times n plus one all over two. Square and cube number sequences are just n squared and n cubed, respectively. A Fibonacci sequence requires you to add the two previous terms to get the next one. They might have to deal with quadratic sequences too. Determining the nth term here is pretty tricky. First, find the difference between each term, then find the difference between those differences. This is what we call the second difference. Half of this gives us the coefficient of n squared in the sequence. We then punch in the positions in the place of the n's and subtract this from the sequence. This gives us the remainder for each term. This new interim sequence we have will be a linear sequence, which we add to the quadratic part.